Okay, welcome back to the channel guys. If you're here looking for cam tool tutorials, you've come to the right place. Although my disclaimer will be before we get going that this is probably really still new to me as well. So I'm about a week and a half into playing around with cam tool. I think I've got it figured out, but we'll, uh, we'll see in the upcoming videos. So today's video is going to focus around making edits with a track that has no track positioning. And when I mean no track positioning, if you look at the cam tool up here, there's no meterage here, although the car isn't moving. Anywhere I put my car on the track during this replay, there should be a track position uh, located up here next to the cam tool. So because there isn't one, you can't take advantage of any track cams that might be. The only cameras we have available to us are the standard cockpit and outside views. So what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate the, uh, the cam tool mode itself to create a replay. Most tracks have this uh, track positioning, so the reason that we're here on this track is one, I've got quite a nice replay to make an edit from, and two, this track has no positioning, so let's get into it. First thing we want to do, obviously, is find your start position on the replay. In this case, we're down here, and we're going to be following Sir Folk up the hill in the Drift Time Volvo 740, which is a work in progress, so it's not released yet, guys, so you can't currently have it, unfortunately. But it is coming soon, so definitely excited for that and uh, keep your eye on the Drift Time Discord. I will put a link to that in the description below. So we're going to set the uh, stop position of the replay here. So what we, what we can do is if we click that and then just hit stop, it takes us back to the buffer on this side. So for all intents and purposes, it's only going to be useful for the first couple corners because, we again, we, we have no positioning. So we're going to manipulate what we can do here. All right, let's do this. So we're going to activate free camp. And that's going to give us control of the camera. I'm going to use our arrow keys to do that. Now, free cam, if you hold shift, you can slow the camera down. But for this uh, for this replay, it's not important. We're just going to uh, we're just going to use it as is because we're going to fix it into a position and then activate the camera to follow the car around. So, what are we going to do here? I can't tell you how to you know set your cameras or position your cameras. That's entirely up to you. Uh, the way I did it when I did it the first time was I just put the camera in a position where it would see the car for the longest time. So, you know, position it kind of here and then press play and you'll see the car come by. But what you can do, anywhere you position the camera, as soon as you turn on the cam tool, it will focus on the car. So if I look away and then turn it on, it will always track the car. So let's just hit play. Hopefully we've not got too long to wait for them to move. Oh, we'll just fast forward. All right, so they're coming. All right, so as you can see, track cam on and it follows the car. So we just wait for them to stop. We'll pause that. Good. So in this case, what you're going to want to do is set your recording software to just record. You, you're going to just mince around with the camera on, but you should leave recording on in the background. So you can come back to it and later edit out the, the bits that you don't want with whatever editing software that you're using. So let's just do a couple corners. I'm not going to do the whole track. There's really no point in doing the whole track because it's quite simple. And again, it just comes down to where you want to position the camera um, and, and the kind of shots you want to make. So that's, that's up to you guys. I'm just going to give you the method and the easiest way to do it. Okay, so another thing to remember is whilst the track cam is on, cannot move the camera around it will only point towards the car so we've got to turn that off to be able to then free move again so track cam on it's locked you can still move the camera but it will stay forever focused on the car which is like an advanced camera mode that we'll go into a bit later if you want to make sort of moving shots with the cam you do it this way and of course if you hold shift or let go of shift it speeds you up and slows you down but we'll come back to that let's let's not get ahead of ourselves too quickly all right okay so we're going to set our camera again we're going to want to see the car here now i mean it's, it's more cinematic if it's lower down i think that's it gives a bit more of a realistic look so again guys you've got your your uh, what's it called recording you've got your, your <coughs> recording software recording turn your camera on now this is where it gets quite tedious you can use Control h to clear your hud but to turn it back on you will need to go back to the right side of your screen and bring it on so again, we're going to imagine your camera's recording. You're going to hit play, move your mouse 
the bar will drop down and of course the cursor will disappear after a set time. And we'll just let the cars come by. Okay. So it's important to let the cars just go a little bit past where you want them to be. As soon as they come out of view, that that image, that kind of scene is finished. But just let them go a little bit further around. So you've done that, then what we're going to need to do is bring up cam tool, unactivate it, move around. So the cars are in a position where you can see them just from the last corner. So again, let's move around to here now. And again, guys, it's your positioning on the cameras. You can pop them wherever you like. If you want to, uh, you know, put it up high, down low on the inside apex, on the outside apex, it's entirely up to you. Um, this is just the, the method. So again, we're going to turn our camera on and we're going to rewind a little this time because we need a little bit of time for this bar to drop down out of the way once we hit play. So again, Control H to get rid of the cam tool, get rid of the bar. Okay, cool, so they've gone past the point, that's fine. So we're just gonna rewind it back to about here. We're gonna pause it and we're gonna bring back up the cam tool, unactivate it and start to move. So a nice long road here, we'll, we'll move right up here. So hopefully we can see the corner there. Oh, hello, <laughs> what am I doing? And the cars there, so corner and cars, that's lovely. So we should be able to get like a nice long shot. So again, remember to rewind them back past the little Lovely, that'll do. We'll hit pause. We'll activate the camera again. Now, of course, the camera is always going to look at the car. So for the first part of this clip, you're just going to get some bush. <laughs> so again, control H, hit play, get rid of your mouse. So they've gone past, pause it, lovely, and we're going to bring back up the cam tool. And this is basically the process, as long as you want to go up the course, you, you know, position your cameras where you want them, and just repeat this process, rinse and repeat. So again, we can see quite a lot of that corner and we can see that there, so let's come back a little, back past there. So remember, you're going to edit out all of the bits you don't need, so if they take you know, 10 seconds to come into shot, that doesn't matter because you're just going to chop that out when you uh, when you edit it anyway. So, Control H, get rid of the thing. Play and get rid of your mouse. Cool, so they're out of shot. Let's just pause that, then we'll come back slightly. Okay, good. So, again, bring up the cam tool, and we're going to unactivate it, and we're going to move. So this is going to be the last corner I'll do, because, you know, this will be a really boring replay otherwise, but you, hopefully you can see the sort of, the idea. Like I said, if you want to position your camera somewhere else, you absolutely can do. Let's just, as an example, pop it up here. I'm not going to get into FOV, like, you can obviously figure that out yourself. If you want to zoom in, you can bring the FOV down. Uh, but it's probably a good idea just to leave it or set it and leave it as one FOV throughout your whole replay because it can get quite annoying when the camera jerks in and out when the FOV changes from camera to camera. So just for this video, we're going to leave them as is. So again, with the camera being up here, we have a position where we can hide the cars and start the shot from. But again, we'll just go slightly further back. Um, and again, you're recording. So control H, get rid of the mouse. Good. All right. So let's just stop that there quickly because I think we've done enough demonstrating. So what we can do, we're going to come out of the replay now. And we are going to go into shortcut. 
So again, editing is entirely your thing. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but I'll show you how I did it with mine. So we'll go into videos. Now I've got the whole uphill, of course, and I've got the <laughs> the edit that I did after, but I'll, I'll just load the whole video. And you can see here on my shotgun that it took me 23 minutes to do the entire run. Um, I'll quickly fast forward it so you can sort of see it. You can see like I'm I'm doing exactly the same method that I was doing. I'm positioning the camera where I want it to be. Like it took me a few uh, few attempts to figure out where I wanted it and how I wanted it. And of course, that's entirely up to you as well, guys. I can't tell you how to produce or do your own cinematics. I'm just trying to give you the method for a track that has no positioning. Okay, so it's it's taking kind of a long time, but as you can see, like the the, the method is the same. You do that. You do the position. You set your camera. You let it play. You wait until they go out of shot, as you can see here. So I would pause it, um, and then it would take me a minute to think about what I was doing because this was the very first time I did it, and I've honestly just used this one to try to show you like how I was fumbling through it. But the method and the principle is exactly the same. So once you've done that, you're obviously going to you know edit out the bits that you've uh, that you've done. So I recorded this all with no sound because I was I knew I was going to pop just a simple track over the top of it um, as a, in a as an example. So to edit, what we're going to do, again, we're just going to edit out the frames that we don't need. So in this video, I'm going to widescreen it, so we're not going to see the, the cursor in the top corner. And we're going to start our video here. I'll just put that back to the beginning. So now the video just starts with the cars coming towards, and that's fine. And we're just going to wait, and we're going to edit out the bits in between that we didn't want. So let's stop that there just before the, the, the playback bar comes up. We're going to go back a little bit more. So the mouse comes into view there. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna split that. We're gonna carry on playing because we want to now get to our next scene, and we're just gonna delete everything that's in the middle. We can probably fast forward this a little just to uh, save a bit of time. All right. Cool. So again, we're gonna wait for the playback bar to go, and then we're gonna just wait for the cars. There we go. So the cars came in shot. So let's go back a couple frames. Just so that when the scene changes, you're not waiting three or four seconds for the car to come into shot. It's there straight away. So again, we're going to move that, cut that out. So now we have our first scene change or cut. I don't know what you uh, editors call it. But now you can start to see the process build where we go from one corner to the next. And so on and so on. So we'll just do one more just for the purpose of showing you what to do. I don't. Uh, I don't think this video is going to be too long and I'm hoping that you guys are following and, and, and carrying the information as we go so just going to wait for the cars to go out shot that's pretty good we'll split that there and again let's just fast forward because we don't need to watch all of the ridiculousness that is me trying to figure out where I want my cams so again we're ready for this now so we're going to just come in we're going to wait for the first car yeah let's do it no we'll go a bit further actually we'll hide them behind the tree Something like that. Again, so let's split the playhead and we'll keep going. Just let the cars roll on by. And the good thing about having the camera here was I actually bashed into his door, but because of the way that the camera was situated there, it, it completely like hid it, which is really nice. So again, cars out of shot, split the playhead. Okay, so I decided to chop a little edit in here, guys. So I just thought I would skip to the very end where I've edited out all my segments. As you can see there's there's quite a few segments there varying in like lengths and shots and whatnot. Um, and you can, you know, using whatever video editing software you're using, you can throw in music and uh, even if you want to like put different transitions for your scene changes. For me, obviously, I just thought it was just easy to just cut to the next camera. Um, but if your editing software has cool uh, scene change or, you know, transitions, definitely throw them in and, and spice it up whichever way you see fit. So that pretty much is the end of it, guys. If you want to see the raw footage of this uh, of this replay, I have uploaded the VR run. It's uh, like a you know cockpit cam view. I've also done like a small edit of this car as well. If you guys want to check them out, I'll put the links to them in the description below. I hope this has helped. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. If it's been helpful, drop a like for me. It would be really appreciated. If it's not helpful, if you think I'm talking out of my backside, drop a dislike. I'm happy to help. Any questions, if you've got any, just drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks, guys. Good luck and uh, have fun.